What if I told you there is a way to get some energy, but also be able to be relaxed at the same time? You see, what I want to talk about today is an amino acid known as theanine, something that you can pick up at any store, you can pick up online dirt cheap. It's nothing crazy. It's an amino acid that's typically found in tea leaves, and honestly, it's the biological constituent of green tea, and probably the reason why you feel so good when you're consuming green tea. Hey, if you haven't already, I want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel. New videos every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific time, so I don't want you to miss a beat. Plus, all kinds of bonus videos and live broadcasts. And if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell so that you can know whenever I post a new video. All right, so the idea behind today is to focus on how you can get a little bit more energy, but at the same time, also help rid yourself of some of that anxiety and allow yourself to sleep a little bit better without putting yourself in a sedated state. And that, my friends, is where theanine comes in. So the way that theanine works is it really has sort of a biphasic response within the body, which means it can increase your alertness, but at the same time, help you fall asleep a little bit more. So let's talk about how it works in a relaxation state first and foremost. Let's start off with a study. This study was published in the Journal of the Alternative Medicine Review. And what it took a look at was how theanine actually helped out boys that were suffering from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So what this study did is it took 98 boys. It had them consume theanine two times per day at 200 milligrams each time. And what they wanted to measure was overall how it improved their relaxation, how it improved their anxiety, their sleep, their ability to focus. And what they found is that the group of boys that consumed the theanine two times per day ended up having markedly improved sleep patterns and also a deeper, more restful sleep. Now, this is all great, but what exactly is going on within the body? As I've mentioned in other videos before, we have two sort of systems that the brain operates on. We have the glutamate system and the gamma aminobutyric acid system. These two pathways allow the body and the brain to have either more energy and be in an excited, almost anxious state, or be in a little bit more of a relaxed state. But what we're finding is that theanine induces the body to go into a little bit more of that GABA neurotransmitter state. But it does so by doing an interesting thing. It doesn't increase the level of GABA within the body. What it does is decreases the amount of glutamate that can actually hit the brain. So you see, glutamate isn't a bad thing, but it does trigger your brain to be a little bit more anxious and hyperactive. So the reason we would normally have the glutamate system is to keep our body in balance. But if we're out of balance, we have too much glutamate, we're an anxious person. If we have too much GABA, we're almost a little too relaxed and maybe even lazy. But what they found is that theanine binds to the glutamate receptor within your brain. So what this means is it blocks glutamate from hitting your brain. Now that doesn't mean that it causes GABA to go up. But what it does mean is that it increases the GABA to glutamate ratio, meaning you have slightly more GABA than you do glutamate. This is why you're able to be in that relaxed state, yet still have energy when you drink green tea. I would even argue that you can consume a ton of green tea and not feel the effects of the caffeine because you're gonna end up feeling the effects of the theanine as well. So you're relaxed, yet alert. And I'll talk about the alertness in just a second. Now, one other interesting thing to add is that theanine operates as a pretty darn powerful antioxidant. But let me explain why this is, because it's pretty darn cool. You ever wonder why green tea is a good antioxidant? Well, it's simply because, again, it's blocking that glutamate receptor. So visualize this. Glutamate encourages your brain to use a lot of energy, which means that essentially your body is having to borrow energy from the next couple of weeks to concentrate it into now. You know, like when you're anxious, you feel like you're burning up a lot of energy. You're borrowing all this energy from tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and concentrating it into now. Well, what that does is it puts a lot of stress in your brain, it causes a lot more things to have to flow into the brain, which means that you have sort of a toxic effect on the brain. So when the glutamate receptor is blocked, you're blocking that extra energy that's causing an extra taxation and oxidation on the brain. So that's why theanine operates as an antioxidant and also why green tea operates as an antioxidant. It's pretty darn cool stuff. Antioxidant coupled with a relaxation effect is a pretty happy marriage. But then when we add the fact that it can boost your alpha wave oscillation, then it gets really exciting. And what I mean by that is it encourages your brain to be in a relaxed hyperdrive. Alpha waves are the brainwave state that we are in when we're awake and we're alert and we're feeling focused. 
I want you to think about when you're meditating or when you're deep into a workout and just feel like you're in the zone. You're in those alpha waves. Now sometimes we can't control what kind of oscillations we go through. We'll go through theta waves, we'll go through delta waves, alpha waves, and we don't always control it. But if we have an element of control within this by inducing the alpha state a little bit more than we ordinarily would, we have a lot more control over when we can be focused and when we can have our minds free and clear. What happens when you go through these alpha oscillations is your sensory abilities end up being minimized, which means you're less likely to be distracted by things. So it's something that can be really powerful if you're doing high intensity interval training or any kind of agility work where you need to focus a little bit more. Now what ends up happening is when you shift to the higher frequencies, your brain becomes really exhausted and taxed. These higher frequencies are sending a lot of energy into your brain. So you're at this point where you can't really focus. You're distracted, one thing here, one thing there, and you're never able to really get the job done. So theanine allows the brain to go into that alpha state where you're able to focus on one thing at a time and really be able to have your creative hat on so that you can get the job done without distraction. But now, let's see how theanine can actually improve your body's utilization of the caffeine that you're already consuming. Maybe through your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, or if you're just a hardcore person, maybe your pre-workout or your caffeine pills. There was a study that was published in the journal Nutritional Neuroscience that took a look at 27 participants. And what they had them do is they had some of them consume 50 milligrams of caffeine and some of them consume 50 milligrams of caffeine alongside 100 milligrams of theanine. So what they wanted to measure was their word recognition, their visual processing, and their ability to task switch, their ability to switch from one thing over to another. And what they found was the group that consumed theanine alongside the caffeine ended up having a massive improvement in cognitive awareness. They were able to improve their word recognition, ultimately their short-term memory, and they were also able to decrease distraction dramatically. Again, this makes it very, very powerful for the athlete or very, very powerful for someone that's trying to focus on something that requires a lot of attention. The purpose of this video wasn't to be any kind of plug or push or anything like that. It was to be able to give you another tool that you can have in your arsenal to help improve your focus, improve your energy, but ultimately improve your health as well. So as always, I wanna make sure you keep it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.